I really want a sweet baby little pit bull in our house. Good morning, guys. So I've already walked um, the dogs this morning, Elvis, Freckles, and Winston. That's the normal trio that I walk. I just fed him breakfast and he got it all over his face. Like a little baby. He needs to go out now. But today's kind of an interesting day. The lady whose dogs that I walk every morning asked me um, if I wanted to do some work for her. And she's offering me a really good hourly rate and honestly we need money right now so I think I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna be working for her for like four or five hours today doing like gardening, housework, office work, whatever she needs help with. She's also like a lady who I enjoy talking to to. So it's really like a good scenario and I love her dogs too. They're really sweet And now I'm trying to rush my way through breakfast because I'm supposed to go back to her house in about an hour and a half um, And in that time I need to make sure that I've eaten at least attempt to upload the vlog And then also I need to get Abe out on like a full walk as well So I'm not sure how much of that I'm gonna be able to film because she really doesn't like know much about me being on YouTube And also sometimes in those situations, I'm too scared to ask so that's my morning right now. The day took a completely different turn from what I expected. I expected to come home and uh, have a lot of time to do work, but it's fine. Eric is still asleep. I'm not sure what his plan is today. He doesn't even realize yet, obviously, because he's asleep, um, that I am going to be leaving for most of the day. Abe does this like every morning. He loves the sun. What are you doing, buddy? What you got in your mouth? Currently shoving food in my face. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to leave here on time. Alrighty, time to head out. I know I'm really not a baseball cap kind of person. I don't think I've ever worn one casually before, like ever. This is Eric's. It's from China. It's 100% a fake North Face hat. Do any of you guys watch Twitch? Eric watches a lot of StarCraft on Twitch. <laughs> I'm so tired you guys it was really hard work for like five solid hours I was like scrubbing floors like on my knees and I was like up in the ceiling like vacuuming the cobwebs from the corners and not that her house was like crazy dirty or anything but we were doing like deep cleaning so it was very exhausting <laughs> I think I'm going to maybe have a drink I'm gonna sit maybe outside just relax for a little bit Abe is very happy. I don't think he likes the camera much, do you? You don't like cameras in your face? Well, get used to it. <laughs> Check out my ring tan line. <laughs> oh, it's going to get worse, too. I have a giant bowl of watermelon here. And Eric and I were just laughing because one time we found this guy on the internet who claimed to have eaten an 11-pound watermelon in one sitting. This is half of an 11-pound watermelon. He ate two bowls this size in one sitting. Like, I'm holding this bowl right now. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I am actually making myself part one of dinner <laughs> because I definitely burned a lot of calories today. So I have spinach, I have some slivered almonds, and then my favorite dressing, which is the sweet onion and bacon vinaigrette from Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. And then I'm gonna put just a couple pieces of goat cheese on it, which is a little naughty, but whatever. And then some turkey. For dinner, we have some leftover tri-tip and we're actually just gonna microwave it and then put it on a bun. I don't know, maybe mayonnaise on the bun? I should probably not pay attention to it today, but the app said again that I have too much fat in my diet. So that's why I say like goat cheese is kind of a guilty pleasure. Putting mayonnaise on something is uh, definitely a guilty pleasure. Maybe I'll have mustard. I don't know. We did get this cool hot sauce that I could try. We got this hot sauce from the Hayward Farmer's Market. It's a ghost pepper fire roasted jalapeno and serrano like hot sauce. I don't know. It's from Hayward. Today and yesterday have been days where I just kind of like eat whatever I gravitate towards and I'm logging all my food and I've definitely stayed within my calorie limits. And really when you're trying to like lose weight, that's the most important. It's about calories in, calories out. I know that. But for my well-being, and so I, that I feel energetic and feel healthy. I know that I need to be eating like a good ratio of foods. I definitely need to like rearrange my diet and I'll take you guys along for that adventure. Yeah, I'm just trying to make a lifestyle change. This is not a diet, this is a lifestyle change. So the results will be slow, but it'll definitely be like integrated into my life more permanently than if I were to do some crazy diet. After that long rant, basically I'm having a tri-tip sandwich 
and a salad for dinner and it sounds delicious. I'm gonna eat that and then Eric and I are gonna watch House of Cards. So it's actually the next day but I wanted to share something with you guys that um, I discussed yesterday with the woman whose house I was cleaning because I thought you guys would find it interesting. So I was scrolling Facebook recently and I saw that the Sacramento Animal Shelter was offering free adoptions. And right now is definitely not the time to get another dog but Eric and I want another dog in the future primarily for Abe because he gets really lonely by himself. And I've heard from people who went from one dog to two dogs uh, say that it was actually really, really good for the like one dog they had before. So Eric and I have been talking about getting a second dog for a long time. Um, it's not gonna happen this month, but I ended up <laughs> on the shelter website looking at dogs. I, you should never do that unless you're like ready to adopt. <laughs> and I was scrolling through all the dogs and most of them were pit bulls. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you may know that I love pit bulls. They might be my favorite dog. I had kind of a negative view towards them until we adopted our dog, Abe. And of course he's not full pit bull. We get asked a lot, what kind of breed is he? We honestly don't know for sure, but we're pretty sure that he has some pit bull in him because he's got that big jaw and the big chest and the wide head and all that. And so since I fell in love with Abe when he was a little baby and we like raised him from a little pup, then I also in turn fell in love with pit bulls. And I think they have the cutest, like most human eyes. And I don't know, anyways, I need to stop ranting about pit bulls. The point is the majority of the dogs on the shelter website were pit bulls. And I thought to myself, can I even own a pit bull as a renter in the Bay Area? So I talked to the woman whose house I was helping to clean yesterday and she's a landlord. I was asking her, you know, as a renter, is it risky to own a pit bull? And she was asking me all these questions like, why is the dog dangerous? Like, no, no, no. We would probably gravitate towards getting a second dog that's calmer than Abe to kind of compliment him because he's very high strung. That wouldn't be an issue. But if all the paperwork says pit bull, it's an adult dog, it's clearly a pit bull. Is that an issue with insurance? And I remember our landlord telling us something about how she doesn't believe in breed restrictions. You know, as an individual, she's morally against the idea of restricting certain breeds. However, uh, the homeowner's insurance on this house has breed restrictions involved for dogs that apply to people renting the home. So I was asking this lady who's a landlord, you know, like, is there any way around this? Is this typical? Do most people have insurance like this? Is it really, really difficult as a renter to have a house with a pit bull? If a lot of insurance policies include breed restrictions on anyone renting your home, then yeah, it is an issue. So the solution to that problem, and I'm not suggesting that everyone just goes out and do this, but the only solution to that problem is to register your pit bull as a therapy dog, an emotional support dog, some kind of assistive dog. And that way the breed restrictions don't apply because the fact that the dog is an assistive dog overrides the breed restriction crazy. So I just wanted to kind of share that information with you guys because I'm just really interested in why the majority of dogs in shelters, especially around the Bay Area, are pit bulls and why more people aren't, you know, adopting pit bulls. Obviously a lot of people do adopt pit bulls, but in the Bay Area, owning a home is a lofty goal. Seeing a $1 million price tag on a house is very typical. So young couples like Eric and I dream of owning a home, but we have no idea when it's going to happen because the housing market is just insane. So for now, him and I are really looking at renting for a while. And it's not ideal, obviously, but it's just the reality of living in the Bay Area is renting for a long time, not being able to buy a home for a long time. So if that's the reality for a lot of people in the Bay Area, and there are a lot of pit bulls in shelters not getting adopted, I wonder if there's some kind of correlation with that. So anyways, I just thought that was interesting and I want to share it with you guys. Comment below if you have any insight on this or if you are a renter who owns a pit bull whose paperwork, the important part is that the paperwork defines it as a pit bull because with Abe luckily we got him as a puppy and his paperwork says he's a retriever mix I know so <laughs> one piece of paper says retriever mix and one piece of paper says shepherd mix and I'm not sure which paper they go off of it might be your rabies certificate and if that's the case then when you bring in a puppy or any other dog if the the vet asks you what kind of dog is it and you either convince them it is that kind of dog or if they are nice enough to put that breed of dog down in the paperwork I guess that would become the breed that your dog is legally, is whatever's on the rabies certificate. So maybe that's another way around it. You could put like terrier mix. <laughs> 
I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any insight on this. I really want a sweet baby little pit bull in our house. We're, we're not getting a puppy, so don't expect a puppy. We realize how much work a puppy is because we did it once already, and we do not have the time or energy or motivation to do it again at the moment. Basically, I don't want another puppy until we have like older kids that can help us with it. Because puppies are like having a newborn, but I do not need a newborn in my life right now. Anyways, tomorrow is going to be a very unique vlog. I don't think you guys will see this coming. Maybe if you follow me on Snapchat, put a comment down below if you think you know what tomorrow's vlog is gonna be about. And thank you for watching this one. Also be sure to like this video if you're excited to have daily vlogs back. Okay, bye.